Okay, so you're interested in starting a home-based business. Now comes the time when you really have to do some thinking because there's a lot to consider. First of all, who is your target audience? Who are you trying to sell to and who are you trying to reach? How are you going to do that? Can you reach them online? Are you going to need to develop business cards and flyers? Licensing. What type of license are you going to need? You need to contact your county and also your state. If you're going to be reselling items, you might need a different license than if you're going to be making the product by scratch. Also, a website. Do you need a website? Is this the type of business in which people are going to find you online? Oftentimes that will be determined by the business that you run. For instance, if you're running a service-oriented business, like you're an accountant in your hometown, do you think that the people in your hometown are going to be looking online for an accountant? Probably not. However, if you're designing jewelry, you're probably going to want to run an online store because that's going to generate much more income for you than just trying to sell it around town. What supplies are you going to need? Sit down and make a list. You're going to need the regular things like pens and paper and paper clips, but you're probably going to need special software for your job. You're probably going to need a computer if you're running a certain type of business. If you are, for instance, a mobile, running a mobile spa, you might need a massage table and certain lotions. So you need to consider what equipment you're going to need before you get started. Also, consider joining an organization. Organizations such as the National Association for Women Business Owners are excellent opportunities for you to network. There are great opportunities there for you to learn more through workshops and seminars. And they also get you out of the house, which you're going to need to do being a working mother from home. And one great resource is the Small Business Administration website. They Not only do they offer free online classes, but they also give you checklists and worksheets that you can use as you develop your business.